High schools everywhere deal with bullying and name calling, and now one local high school is trying to stop it by saying words matter. Fox 47's Brian Wilk takes us to Bath High School for more on the chalkboard project. The pictures have been up all week. Students holding small chalkboards with hurtful words people have said to them. Things like, you'll never make it to Stanford, or stop trying, you'll never be good enough. Educators say they're focusing on words matter. They are hearing these words. They are seeing these words posted on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and for them to put those words out there um, on these pictures allowed them to let go of the power that those words might have. One of those students is senior Clay Adams. People have told him your mom would be disappointed, which hurts since she died of cancer two years ago. To have your mom that's not here anymore just be disappointed in you, or like have someone say that, it like, like physically and emo like emotionally, mentally, like it hits hard. Junior Katie DeLeon's board reads easy. But looking back on it and looking back at your life, it's not like, it's just, you know, it's just like, take it with a grain of salt. Today, students wrote positive things on each other's board. On Clay's board, people wrote athletic, caring, and kind. Provide a light to the school of like what I've been through and how I've handled it and how other people see me handling it. On Emily's board, people wrote inspiring, funny, and proud. Really good. It makes me feel like full and accomplished a little bit because I try to I try to make other people feel good as well. And that was Brian Wilk reporting. Organizers say they got the idea from Spring Lake High School. Other school districts are interested in doing the chalkboard project, including East Lansing, Dansville, and Langsburg.